guys out here with a new little creation today um this is actually my uh, trugified typhon it's a it's an old v2 that i converted a couple years ago um i tried i decided to do something a little bit different with it uh, first off huge shout out to uh thomas p from tp parts rc extreme uh, he you know definitely inspired me to uh, do this because uh, he uh, created something very similar um, this is a one tenth scale uh, pro line f100 body like for the stampede it's painted a pearl green uh, i think it turned out really nice you know did the little window tent and stuff um it's still a full truckified typhon here except i'm running the uh, v4 guitars from the uh, v4 typhon and it does have a it's got quite a few upgrades on it uh, it's kind of a you know a mishmash of stuff uh, voltage i've went over this before in some other videos but hot racing gka but otherwise she's she's basically a tank um i did have to take the skirts off the side skirts to fit the body the, the right way um but i'm just uh, looking forward to giving her a run it does have the uh this is my old um hot racing uh italian v3 italian wing mount that i used to run on my italian uh I got that on here with an outcast wing so it's got a nice low profile wing and it ends up fitting the uh the body pretty good so anyway we're gonna give her a quick rip um again uh shout out to uh ah hobby adam hill for the tires and also for the chassis um, uh, this is off his uh, v4 so uh and also i've had a lot of guys ask me about my wraps that i use so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh let the cat out of the bag <laughs> so to say um, these are these are uh, two different versions of the discount ramps back when you can get them for some odd reason you can't you can't get these anymore I don't know if they're just not in production or if they're out of stock or what but hopefully they're going to get some more in stock but the ones on the bottom here are the new style ramps which they have less less uh, incline lip they're a little bit flatter so and the ones on top are my old ramps that I've had for a couple years and they got more of a uh, lip up you know for more for more vertical height so I've got that mounted about a little bit past a quarter of the way up on top of the low on top of the lower profile ramp there and I've got it screwed down pretty good I've got these blocks of wood in here to help you know to help uh, bolt the ramp down on top so it basically gives you you know twice the ramp <laughs> if, if not more than that actually so um, you know it does make for a nice because you want a nice a nice clean run up the ramp here I, I've seen you know, you know, sometimes all you can do is just is just a, a boost up, you know, just a single ramp with some plywood and stuff. But that what that ends up doing at, at high speed launch is you, is you end up uh, slamming into the the truck slams into the um, ramp before it lifts off, and that uh, can cause some some wonky uh, launches. So I just I definitely prefer doing it this way. I, I hope these ramps last a while or they get some more in stock so I can build me another set. I've I've got some ideas for for another uh, style. So anyway. All right, guys, we're going to uh, give it a quick run, see how it goes. Hey, guys, this thing looks so good in that green. <laughs> That was close. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh man, I almost landed on that pile of rocks. That would have sucked. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to overshoot these jumps. Oh, that was harsh. Uh oh. 
sounds kind of funky. <laughs> Up, oh, see a dog bone and a cracked A arm. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a hard landing, man. I could have landed on some of these rocks out here. <laughs> Let's go see if I got a replacement for that. All right, got it all fixed up. Uh, brand new A arm. There's nothing like a little bit of field work <laughs> on the bash site. Yeah, it's probably not a smart idea to be landing out here. There's a lot of a lot of gravel and stuff mixed up in this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the uh, gap jump. Jump to the bank. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, that chassis's got a gnarly twist in it. <laughs> okay. M2, see her up, too. <laughs> ah. Man, that was a hard hit. Thought it was going to peg me for a second. <laughs> oh, LVC. <laughs> Just in time. That looks like I've endured some body damage here on the new body already. I didn't really do a full uh, reinforced job on this thing, so um, definitely gonna have to put some. Uh, I just did some gorilla tape, and then I ran out of tape, so a little bit of shoe goo and drywall uh, tape fix that. So, all right, guys, this thing was a complete animal. <laughs> Again, huge shout out to uh, Thomas P for the inspiration. Uh, Bickety Bam, uh, I know he's been uh, bashing this buggy, his typing a lot, so these things are a blast. All right, guys, until next time, Marcy Dude 81, peace out.